The use of any tobacco product on school district property is prohibited. Yeah, I guess. Would you please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps as we honor our freedom and the United States of America with the playing of our national anthem by our PAHS band. Action coming up between our Punks Tony Lady Chucks and the St. Mary's Lady Dutch. Uh, once again, uh, very nice job by the Punksy Band. It's uh, kind of cool to have you know, something live rather than just a national anthem played uh, played over the loudspeaker. So it's going to be Powell, center court, facing off against Morikaski. And referee's clearing everybody. Referee's ready. Yep, he's good to go. Players, benches, yep, we're ready. We're going to have a jump ball here momentarily. And that ball is up, and Kasky tips it, but Punksy secures the tip as McMahon gets it. 
looks for some help. And she gets to Gribble. Gribble out front, being guarded closely by um, Hans Loven. Up, oh, turnover right off the bat. That's not what we needed. And it's Kasky coming out of there with it. She gets it ahead to Snellick. Snellick looks to go left, pulls it back, does a spin move. Uh, as I alluded to, and looked like she took about three or four uh, steps there. She misses the underhand layup. But like I said, Danielle Gribble it looks like she has the assignment of uh, shutting down Jason Snellick. So uh, St. Mary's looks like they're in a 2-3 uh, zone here uh, to start this game. McMahon for three. She hits. Emily McMahon for three. Gets the scoring started here tonight. And Puxy coming out with a full court press, or I guess three-quarter court press. A nice job by Gribble. And they're going to get it back. St. Mary's does. She knocked it away there. Nice job of... Uh, Sealing that layup off. And there's a two, a three, I mean, by uh, Molly Hansloven. So she answers right back. Score 3-3 three, three with 6.47 to go here in the first quarter. They get that ball over to McMahon to Gribble. Back to McMahon for three. Again, she hits another. McMahon's on fire here tonight as she drains her first two shots, both threes. And puts Punksy up 6-3 here in the early going. 6.27 to go here in the first period. Punksy is just a uh, jump ball. And it's going to go to St. Mary's. As Punksy got the opening tip, St. Mary's gets this ball. Uh, Punksy had uh, three girls on. I'm not sure who that girl was that had the ball, but uh, she definitely didn't have anywhere to go with it. Uh, and she tossed it up, and that's how it cost the uh, jump ball. So, St. Mary's with it on the right wing. It's Kasky. She gets it over to the left wing. Uh, thought about it. The freshman thought about a three. And there is Dolly Doverspike with a block on Jason Snellick. Uh, nice job by Doverspike. And there's a three ball, and it's a hit by Alexa Schneider. So, the threes are wide open here tonight as Schneider hits a three. She needs some help, gets it to Powell. She needs to go baseline, but she forgot to dribble the ball. And she gets it out front to Burkett. Burkett to McMahon. Down in the corner to Dover Spike. These girls need to learn how to go baseline. That's uh Oh, Gribble. She thought about a deep three. Dribbles in. Gets it back out to Burkett. Burkett for three. Off oh, the iron. No good. Had a good look. Just off the front of the iron. And rebound St. Mary's. <coughs> so Kasky with it. Gets it across to Snellick. Down low to Kasky. A rebound by Burkett. So Punksy doing a good job here defensively. You get it ahead to Gribble. Gribble dribbles in. Bounces it to Powell. Powell lays it up. Oh, off the iron. No good again. And rebound by Kasky. She is definitely a force. I remember her last year being a force. Needs some help down low. They get it. Oh, and there's a nice pass. Punksy needs to remedy that real quick as that was Molly Henslow in for two from the block. McMahon with it, cross to Gribble. Gribble thought about a real deep three, pulls back, and she's going to hand that off to Dover Spike. She looks in, gets it to uh, McMahon, Ma bounces it into Powell, back out to McMahon, and ball knocked away by Snellick. Gets it into Powell, Powell for two, short. Had a good look, come up a little short. So, score sits 8 6, 428 to go here. In the first period. Subs coming in for Punksy. We have Dobbins coming in. We have Wisniewski coming in. And we have Burkett coming in. Burkett is the sister to uh, Olivia Burkett. Gribble flying up the floor. Gets the ball tapped away there for a minute. Burkett with it. Gets it to Wisniewski. A little high. No good. And she gets her own rebound. Kicked it out. And we have a foul on Gribble. That was a good foul. Uh, Snellick was ready to go coast to coast here with nobody out in front. So give uh, Danielle Gribble credit. Uh, she stuck her arm out there and, and uh, stopped Snellick from the easy layup, so to speak. And it looks like we've switched it up. We've put uh, Burkett on and uh, Jason Snellick. Burkett. And Snellick kicks it back out to Kasky, being guarded by Powell. Gets it into Hanslow and a three by, and no good on that three. 
Gribble with it. She's flying down the floor. She's going to lay it up and misses it. Nice try by Danielle Gribble there. She uh, tried to make the underhand layup, but did not fall for her. And Snellick with it. Uh, hands it off. And that's going to be knocked away by Wisniewski from uh, Gornotti. Gornotti, the freshman, starting for St. Mary's here tonight. And they inbound it to Snellick. Snellick being guarded by Burkett. Snellick trying to put the moves on Burkett, but she's not falling for them. Hands Loven, little body on body there, she hits. Punksy needs to toughen up here. We've only got six points. Oh, a nice job there. Nice pass. And that put away by Avery Powell for two on the low block. And that puts Punksy down by two with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. And that ball's into Hanslow. And Hanslow pushes her way in and puts it away. Well, like I said before, Punksy putting the clamps down on Snellick, but Hanslow stepping it up. Deep three by Gribble off the front of the iron. No good. And rebound. Nice job by Wisniewski on the rebound. Gets it to Dobbins. Dobbins fires up three and hits. Emily Dobbins for three. And that puts it 12 to 11 in favor of St. Mary's here. 2.30 to go in the first period. Looks like, to me, uh, Snellick uh, being guarded by Burkett there at the moment. Uh, she's, oh boy, help. She right down the lane and lays it in. She looks like she might be under the weather. She's not like looking real well. Like she looks sluggish, uh, which is uh, fine by me. Another three, almost by, uh, and it's going to stay Punksy's ball. Another three, almost by Teresa Snellick for two. That was her first two of the game. And we got Wisniewski coming out, and McMahon coming back in. Gets it down low here to. Going back to Punksy as it was tipped by uh, Schneider. St. Mary's has yet to uh, has yet to substitute anybody in. Two minutes to go here. They're up by three. 14-11. Okay, we get that ball into Burkett. Burkett bounces it to Powell. Powell into the lane. Over to Burkett. Burkett three from Dobbins. Hits another. Emily Dobbins hits a three, and we're tied at 14 with a minute 50 to go here in the first period. Knocks it away, steal by Dobbins. Knocked away by, uh, nice pass. Down with a Burkett, ooh, just didn't get it high enough. And it's gonna be off St. Mary's, go punks away. Nice job by, very nice job by Burkett there to save that ball off of St. Mary's, and Punksy retains possession. Danielle Gribble inbounds that ball to McMahon. Little reach in there, not called. A little lot of body on body there by uh, Snellick on McMahon. Nothing called. And Danielle Gribble goes to the land. She's going to be blocked. So two shots coming. Chance to Punksy to go up here with a minute 25 left in the first quarter. So Dobbins and McMahon both hot here with two three-pointers in the first period. That foul was on Taylor Granati, the freshman. First for St. Mary's and the first shot by... Dribble's good. Punksy goes up 15-14. One shot to come. We've got two subs coming in. Dover Spike's coming in for Powell. And Burkett for Burkett. The older sister coming in for the younger sister here in the first period. Second shot coming by Gribble. That shot is up. And good. Two shots. Good by Daniel Gribble. Puts Punksy up two here. Uh, late in the first quarter. Punksy putting the pressure on here defensively. They get it down into the lane. Uh, partially blocked. Cornotti saves it. Gets it to Hansloven. Hansloven looks. Gets it across to Kasky. Kasky looks in. Downloaded. Snellick. Snellick lays it up and in. Punksy just fell asleep there as she turned and did a little bit of um, uh, peek and go there and she gets that ball down low, puts it away does Jason Snellick, her second basket of the game. Dobbins bounces it to McMahon over to Gribble. It's one thing about Punksy, they have three or four girls uh, that can definitely shoot that three, including Dobbins, McMahon, Gribble, 
and Burkett. I've seen uh, Emily Bur or Olivia Burkett uh, sink Powell three pointers in her JV action here in years past. She needs to get it in, and they do to Do uh, Dover Spike to Dobbins to Gribble. No head fake. Down to 40 seconds in the first. Dobbins with it. Oh, and stolen away by Snellick. And they're not going to catch her. She lays it in for two. That's uh, not what we needed, especially uh, turnover with points involved. So uh, it puts them up 18-16 here. Uh, 22 seconds to go. McMahon with it. Gets a two gribble. They're, uh, they switched it up here. They're going man-to-man. -man. Looks like man-to-man -man defense on us now. A little push off there on uh, Gornati. That's her second. That's her second foul. So uh, uh, keep uh, adding them up. Take it. That's what they need to do is just take it to them. Uh, it's always taught my kids you know, make make them do something. You know what I mean? Just don't don't be uh, don't be just bow into them. You know and cause yourself a charge. But you know make them jump in and uh, maybe you know pull a. Make them uh, pull in there and get a a blocking foul and get that ball back to Gribble. Gribble looks, dribbles in, kicks it back out to Dobbins. Dobbins for another three. Short. This trip. And Kasky with the rebound. They get it. Ooh, my hit Burkett right in the back, and that's it. End of the first quarter. We'll take a 30-second break. We'll be back for the start of the second. You're listening to a Laurel Rock Clinic sports night on 100.9 The Groundhog. Vision Creative Solutions is a full-service marketing company that assists small and mid-sized companies with a wide range of marketing services. Vision Creative Solutions provides services that include the creation and design of logos, brand development, marketing, website development, design and redesign, web hosting, direct mail, branded apparel, promotional items, public relations, social media, all types of printing, and much, much more. Vision Creative Solutions, your one-stop marketing company, 938-5864. Okay, we're back here at Bunks 20 Area High School where we're down two at the end of the one period, 18 to 16. Uh, we clean it up just a little bit, uh, limit those turnovers. We gave them a couple turnovers. They got points off of those turnovers. If we keep those turnovers from happening and we put points up, we're going to be on the high side of that. So it's going to be Punksy's ball at half court here, start of the second quarter. McMahon's going to inbound it. Looks like Gribble's going to take that inbounds pass. Um, looks like St. Mary's is going to stick to that 2-3 zone for good reason. Punksy has so many outside shooters here. Uh, I can't believe we got four uh, three-pointers uh, in the books already. The one thing I see with, with their... We, we get that ball into the key, into Pow or into Dover Spike, and, and we need somebody to, to come in. There's a three by Gribble to start the scoring... In the second period, and we go up 19-18. They had a good look there, and they... Oh, nice job by... It's going to stay St. Mary's ball, but nice job by Burkett on a block there on... Uh, uh, I believe that was uh, Schneider trying to take that shot, but Burkett stopped her uh, for sure. And an inbounds pass here by... And they get it into Snellick. She's being guarded by Gribble again. She takes it to the hoop, scores. Uh... Had a little help there on the back side there, but just didn't, uh, not enough help. And Snellick scores her eighth point of the night. McMahon with it, gets it over to Burkett. Burkett's going to launch a three, just short, off the front of the iron. Nice look, just didn't fall for her. We're down 20-19 to 19 with seven minutes to go here in the second period. <clears throat> like I said before, Punksy has about four girls in the game right now that or uh, three right now. Um, Dobbins isn't in there. And, oh, that ball's almost overthrown to Schneider. They bounce it into Hansloven. Hansloven down low. And it's going to be a foul. Two shots coming. I believe that might be on Burkett. <clears throat> Not a bad foul. She didn't. Uh... Oh, it's on McMahon. Her first. And two shots coming for Molly Hansloven. Okay, we have uh, Burkett coming in for Riley Dover Spike. 
She looks a little distraught as she takes her seat on the bench. I don't know what uh, she's not feeling well or what. And second shot's good. So she made them both. And Punksy back up with it. Burkett with it. Down low to Sister Burkett. And Gribble with it. Into the key. That's where we need to have those girls crash in that key uh, when she gets it. Another three off by uh, Fight for the Rebound. It's going to be jump ball going St. Mary's way. Nice job by Burkett to get her hands on the ball there. But two St. Mary's girls get in there before she got it cleared and uh, forced the jump ball. And they get it in, they force it in there too. Uh, and deep pass, down low to Schneider. And nice job by Avery Powell. She steals it away and she's taking it off up the floor. And she's gonna take it down low. Oh, off the iron, uh, no iron, no good. I'm not sure about foul on that. I didn't think she got any skin, but uh, they call the foul. It's gonna be on Burkett, her first. Good hustle by uh, Natalie Burkett. Uh, that's her second uh, rebound error in, in as many possessions. Uh, and they get it into Kasky to Snellick. Snellick uh, looks like Punksy might even be in some sort of a zone here. Uh, maybe not. They're just uh, they just hadn't moved around there yet. Dribble back out on Snellick. Uh, Avery Powell. She's on Gornotti. Gornotti takes it to the hoop and scores. Another two. And Punksy down by the most. They've been down by five here as go as uh, she goes to the hoop and stays Punksy's ball. Avery Powell went to the hoop there. Uh, nice drive. And it looks like Olivia Burke is going to get a break. Olivia Dobbins comes in the game. It's one nice thing Punksy is going for them. They have uh, three strong off the bench that they can give uh, these players a, a break. Dobbins. Dobbins shoots a three. A little short. Just barely caught net, so uh, air ball there by uh, Dolbins. And it's going to be our ball as they tried to lob inside to uh, Schneider, and it was over everybody, and Punksy cut their hands off of it. We're going to get the ball back, so a turnover for uh, St. Mary's. Gribble with the ball, gets it into Do uh, Powell. Powell looks, gets back out to Gribble. He'll head fake. She drives in. Over to McMahon. McMahon for three. Off. Gets her own rebound. Nice job. And following on a deep three by Gribble. Off the front of the iron. No good. She didn't follow her shot. Didn't get the rebound. So two long threes there. Punksy uh, has gone cold on the threes. And hasn't made one there for a minute. Off the iron. No good. Off the backboard. No good. Rebound. Gribble. Gribble flying up the floor. She stops. Brings it back. Out to Dobbins. Dobbins looks. Dribbles around the top of the key. Going to get it back to Gribble. Punksy lost standing around flat-footed. She hits a three, Danielle Gribble. So we're down two with 4.24 to go here in the second quarter. As Gribble hit that three, pulls us back within two. Schneider for three. Off of everything. It's going to be... I don't know if I can believe that. It looked like it hit, the, hit Gornotti right in the hands and she lost it out of bounds, but... We'll have to uh, go with the referee's call on this one. And 4.14 to go. We're down two. And Schneider with it. She's looking to get it inbounds. Lobs it back into Sh uh, Schnellick. Schnellick thought about popping a three there with uh, Burkett in her face. <clears throat> Kicked it back out. There's a three by Alexa Schneider. Her second of the game. Puts him back up by five. Gets it down to Powell. Powell. I thought she was going to take off and go, but she didn't. Ooh. Nice job by Burkett. Kicks it back out to Dobbins. Dobbins for three. Off the iron, no good. And they're coming back up the floor with it. Kasky with it. Gets it to Gornotti. Gornotti to Kasky. Kasky into the lane. Throws it up and good. That was Mora Kasky for two. Her first two of the game. There's Burkett with it. She fires a two up off the back of the iron, no good. Another good look, and hey, nobody's home. Jason Snellick's flying down the floor. Puts it away for two. Punksy is going to call a full timeout. We'll take 30 seconds with the team. You're listening to the Laurel Eye Clinic Sports Night on 100.9 The Groundhog. 
Life challenges can sometimes catch us off guard, but at Marion Center Bank, we believe in safeguarding your financial future. Introducing Ultimate ID Plus, a powerful fraud protection service that offers you peace of mind like never before. Ultimate ID Plus also keeps a vigilant eye on your social media identity and your driver's license, preventing fraudulent activity. Contact your local branch office or visit us at MarionCenterBank.com for more information. Marion Center Bank, member FDIC. Okay, welcome back here to Punxsutawney Area High School where we're in a timeout situation. Punxsy is down their biggest uh, deficit here of the game by nine. A little uh, run there by St. Mary's. Carlson looking to, to nip it in the bud, uh, which he should look to do that. Punxsy, a couple of nice three-point looks just didn't fall for them. And uh, Punxsy has nothing going down low uh, with the players that we have. Nothing at all in the key as far as uh, scoring goes here uh, for Punxsy. Uh, we got to get uh, Avery Powell involved in that down low. Uh, but the, the, they do have three um, towers in the game, so to speak. They get it into, that's going to be Punxsy's ball off of uh, Kasky. That's going to be our ball. Taking it out under our own hoop there. And it's going to be Burkett with it. She's going to get it in to Powell. Powell pops a little late footer. Nothing close there. And rebound, St. Mary's. Three minutes to go. We're down nine. <coughs> Schneider with it. Gets it to Gornotti. To Kasky. To Snellick. Going to be a block call. Snellick looked to split the defense there. And that foul is going to be on. It's our third foul of the half. It's going to be on Dover Spike, her first. Snellick with it deep. Looks, gets it over to Kasky for three. Good. Another three for St. Mary's. Punksy uh, keep falling here, and it's not looking good. We're going to have to step up our defense. McMahon for three, and she hits. Uh, we needed that for sure. Score sits 34-25 with 2.21 to go here. Punksy uh, needs some help down low. Ooh, they almost had a uh, wide open shot there for Granati, but luckily McMahon hustled back. Granati fires a three off the iron, no good. It's going to be rebounded and put away by Snyder. As she had an uncontested rebound, as you can hear the Punksy faithful here say. And McMahon with it, looking to get it inside. No one's going to guard her. She's going to fire a three up off the iron. No good. Rebound, Kasky. Minute 47 to go. We're down 11. And that's going to be a charge. Nice job by Gribble, I think, to take that charge. And that's on Kasky. She just had no control of herself going down the floor. Foul call. That's a first foul for them. And Punksy inbounds it here on this uh, near side of the floor. Punksy going right to left uh, if you look at the radio dial. <clears throat> and they get it across the floor to Dobbins. Dobbins thought about getting it into Gribble. Gribble stands at the foul line. I mean, Punksy needs to, to make that play. There we go. Gribble or uh, Dover Spike drove that ball in, but stopped, got it back out. Oh, Gribble, nice job of snagging that ball away. Nice head fake. Goes baseline, does a uh, Burkett. Tries to lay it up just a bit short. Nice look for Burkett. Minute 10 to go here in the second quarter. And St. Mary's back at. Snellick for three. Off the iron. High rebound. Dover spike. And she gets it over to Gribble. Gribble to McMahon. 57 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Three subs jump up for Punksy. Getting ready to come in the game. And nice head fake by Gribble. She gets Beat down to the floor. Nothing called. Cross to Dobbins. Dobbins walks. Three subs coming in. Dobbins, Dover Spike, and Burkett. Going to get a breath. 42 seconds to go. And they get it into Snellick. <clears throat> she being guarded by Burkett. 
and they they anticipated that just right. And and there we go, three for Snellick. And it looked like for sure that the ball was uh, uh, the last player there for Snellick going to steal that ball away by the looks of it. Scrum for it on the floor, whistle blows. Let's say jump ball punks his way. So 14 seconds to go here. We're down 14 points, our biggest deficit of the game. <coughs> McMahon with it, looking in. 12 seconds, down to 10. They get it down low to Wisniewski. Wisniewski back to Gribble. Seven seconds, six, five, four, three, two, one. Someone better shoot it. Gribble fires a deep three. Off the iron, no good. That's going to be your halftime score, 39-25. We'll take about a minute break. I'll come back with some scores, and we'll have our little halftime show. You're listening to a Laurel Eye Clinic Sports Line on 100.9, the Groundhog. Your game plan is covered with the pigskin party pack from Punxsie Pizza. The ground game starts with an extra large 16-inch pepperoni pizza. Dominate your passing game with a dozen wings. Well, they used to fly, sort of. And for those TV timeouts, grab a sip from a free two-liter of Pepsi. The Big Kid Party Pack for just $29.99. No game is complete without it. Order yours. Deliver your carryout. 938 Mark back in 30 seconds. Hey, turn your headset volume down. Break with a thousand bucks to pay your bill. Oh, my God, you're kidding me. Yeah. Okay, back here at Punks Tornier High School, where we are uh, set for halftime. Uh, new anchor in halftime. Well, quick halftime show here. Uh, scoring, uh, we're sitting uh, 14 down here uh, going into the third quarter. Punks going to have to make some serious adjustments defensively here uh, for sure. Uh, Hans Loven and Snellick uh, both with uh, double figures for St. Mary's. Snellick with 13, Hans Loven with 11, followed by Schneider with 8. 8, uh, eight for Schneider, uh, 5 for Kasky and 2 for Taylor Gennady. For Punksy leading the way, I'm going to leave McMahon with 9. Seven for Danielle Gribble, six for Dobbins, and two for Avery Powell. That rounds out your scoring here for the first half. Uh, Punxsy versus St. Mary's. Uh, like I said, Punxsy needs to, uh, uh, like I said earlier here before the game started, they need to take care of the ball a little bit. We've given them too many turnovers, and they've gotten points off those turnovers. And uh, defensively, uh, just need to clamp down a little bit on, on Snellick and Hansloven. Uh, one thing about St. Mary's, they got a fine lineup. Uh, any of those girls can score at any point in time. So uh, it's not like we can just focus on on uh, Snellick or Hansloven and not have to worry about anybody else because uh, Snyder, Kasky, and Gornati all can put the ball up. Now, I didn't see any other substitutes for St. Mary's come in the game there in that first half. Uh, so hopefully Punksy can... Uh, They've been subbing them in. Uh, I suppose those girls are used to playing uh, the, the whole game. Uh, so we're just going to have to deal with it, battle it out, and hopefully Punksy can uh, eat these 14 points that they've dug themselves into a hole of and come out on top here later on. So with that being said, we've got about seven minutes. Uh, seven minutes to go here in halftime, and we'll be back for the start of our third quarter, our second half. You're listening to a Laurel Eye Clinic High School Sports Night on 100.9, the Groundhog. Midtown Auto Parts, we know do-it-yourself. Napa Midtown Auto Parts is a proud supporter of local sports and will back you on any of your DIY projects. Come see us at 110 South Gilpin or give us a call at 938. Mark, come in at 7.
Fraud Protection Service can offer you peace of mind like never before. Ultimate ID Plus also keeps a vigilant eye on your social media identity and your driver's license, preventing fraudulent activity. Contact your local branch office or visit us at MiriamCenterBank.com for more information. Miriam Center Bank, member FDIC. Tony basketball right here on the ground off FM 100.9 
We know do it yourself. Napa Midtown Auto Parts, your locally owned and operated Napa store. We're a proud supporter of local sports, and we're here for auto enthusiasts and do it yourselfers. Come see us for all your car care needs, and we can custom mix your paint, and we can put your custom mix in Aerosmith. Back after ID. Napa Midtown Auto Parts. Great people, great products, great Napa know-how. Open 7.30 to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, Saturday 8 to 5. Find us 110 South Gilpin Street, Punxsutawney. Napa Midtown Auto Parts. You're listening to Punxsutawney Area High School Athletics on 100.9 FM and 1540 AM WECZ. Punxsutawney. Okay, welcome back here to Punxsutawney Area High School. <clears throat> where we are ready to start the second half. Punxy down by 14. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll call this the end of the new Anchor Inn halftime show. Uh, like I said, uh, Punxy, uh, Carlson, Constantino, and White, uh, I'm sure has those girls uh, whipped into shape as far as uh, putting the clamps down on Snollick and Hansloven, who have uh, 24 of the 39 points put up by St. Mary's. Uh, basically, what they need to do is just play their game. They, they need to keep, uh, you know, keep doing their thing. Uh, I think they're getting it into their head where they're. And uh, St. Mary's comes out with the ball in the second half. <coughs> Being guarded by Gribble is Snellick. Hans Loban. Uh, she's being guarded by Avery Powell at the moment. But uh, Punksy in a man to man defense. Snellick with it. Pulls the dribble up, gets it across to Hansloven. Three by Snellick, no good. Hansloven with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Gets a rebound again, and uh, it's knocked away. Gribble comes out with it. Coming up the floor, pretty much no numbers for her. And she's looking for some help. Being guarded by Snellick, and it's stolen away by Snellick. Snellick going to the hoop, and she puts it away for two. Jason Snellick starts the scoring here in the second half on a steal. And a layup. So Punksy with it down in the corner. Dover Spike gets it back out to McMahon. McMahon looks, gets some help, gets it to get, get it in. And here's what I'm talking about. Like Punksy, there's a three by Gribble, no good. Rebound by Dover Spike, fights off and gets it back out to Gribble. Nice job by Dover Spike uh, with the rebound flying across the floor to Burkett. Burkett goes left. Oh, just a bit short. Nice rebound by. Um, Punksy got two offensive rebounds, comes up nothing on either one of them. A nice job, and she, do, 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 do. I'm not sure about that. She was not the whole way back across. Uh, we'll take it. It's going to be Punksy's ball. And they're down by uh, 16 points at the moment. And they get it in to McMahon. Punksy had two offensive rebounds on that last uh, possession I was going to get at, and nothing come out of it. Uh, uh, I've been saying about this. Deep three blocked by Snellick and rebound by Gornotti. Uh, well, that, the play I was talking about where Punksy, they get it into three, no good by a nice draw by Hanslow and rebounding that. Gets it back out to Snellick. Snellick dribbles it around. Stops, pops a three. No good, in and out, sort of, kind of. Rebound Burkett. Get it ahead to Dover Spike. Dover Spike, and she pulls it back. Gets it back out to, a nice job, inside to Powell. Burkett for three. Off iron, no good. Rebound by Schneider. Uh, I keep wanting to tell you about the play here. When they get that ball into the top of the key, and, and they, they, there you go, Avery Powell with a steal, and she's going to take it to the hoop. Two points for Avery Powell here opening the scoring for Punks Tawny in the second half. And uh, need some help here as, as Kasky flies by. And no good. And rebound by Dover Spike. Kasky blew by. Uh, Burkett should have just put her head down and went right to the hoop. Deep three by Gribble. And it's good. That's one thing about Daniel Gribble. And it's a three taken by, or a timeout taken by. Uh, we'll stay here with the team this trip. It's only going to be a 30 second. I've already stumbled around here long enough. We'll just stay here. Uh, deep three by Gribble. Uh, but the play I was telling you about, when they get the ball into the foul line, that player needs to turn around like she is going to go to the hoop. That's going to draw that defense of uh, St. Mary's to her. I mean, I don't know how many of those girls are going to go. 
but we have two girls standing clear out on the outside of the wings just watching everything go down. So it's basically senseless to throw that ball in there because we have nobody going to the hoop for that bounce pass and the layup. Uh, that, that they need to, you know, figure that out. I mean, as soon as that ball is going into that, that foul line area, those girls need to crash for the hoop, both sides. And then there's going to be a bounce pass coming because those two, those two girls are, you know, there's going to be girls covering uh, covering that uh, girl at the foul line. So Punxia subs coming to the table. I wanted to get that off my, off my mind there. It's a great play. They just need to, to finish it. And... Uh, it's going to be Schneider with it. She's looking for some help. Switch off by Powell. Nice job. She's playing some intense defense here in the second uh, half going into town here. Schnellick with it. Gets it up front to Schneider. Over to Kasky. Just Schnellick doing a little bit of clock burn here. As uh, they're up by 11 points at the moment. And they kick it back out to Kasky. Kasky goes to the hoop. Lays it up. No good. And rebound. Over to Hansloven, off the iron, no good. Snellick with the rebound, and it's going to be good in one. Punksy has nobody under the boards. Danielle Gribble's in there fighting like crazy for a box out. Nobody else is coming to the hoop. Not sure what's going on there. Three subs coming for Punksy. Burkett, McMahon, and Dover Spike head to the bench. 421 to go here. Second foul on Dover Spike. And it's going to be Snellick for an and one. Shots up and money. Punksy's ball. Gribble gets it flying up the floor like she's uh, got a fire lit under her. Dobbins with it down the corner to Wisniewski. Uh, front to now. Like I said, Punksy just stands around the three-point line. I'm not sure uh, their, their purpose of that play. I mean, they get it into right there to Avery Powell. And then nothing. Nice job by Burkett going to the hoop. Heard shots blocked. It's going to stay St. Mary's ball. I mean, if Punksy's going to you know, continue to give this stuff up, they're going to have to start playing some you know, full court defense. Uh, the, the coaches are seem like they're already giving up. They're sitting down on their on their heels over on the bench. Nice job by Gribble on the steal. 3.50 to go here. Uh, they're down 14, 44 to 30. It was Nesky for two off the iron, no good. It's going to be a jump ball. It's going to stay Punksy's ball. And it's going to be Wisniewski taking the ball out. And they have a lineup going, and they're not going to get the ball out of my heavens. They forced it into, forced it into, it's going to be Punksy, should be Punksy's ball. I don't know how that was, uh, that was off of Caskey all day long. <coughs> Forced it into Pat Powell, and then she kicked it back out, luckily, real quick. I don't know why she didn't take it to the hoop. She was on the low block. She should have shot it. Kasky with the ball out front to Snellick. Snellick dribbles around the top of the key. Being guarded by Powell at the moment. Kicks it back to Kasky. And she tries to put it away, but doesn't. They get it ahead to Gribble. Gribble, little one on three. She thought about taking it to the hoop. Wisniewski for two. She's off the iron, no good. Schneider with the rebound, another jump ball situation. And it's gonna be St. Mary's ball. And it's gonna be inbounded by Kasky to Snellick, back to Kasky. She flies up the floor, it's across half court. Back to Snellick. Snellick looks the situation over. Once again, uh, St. Mary's has five. That's it. Uh, if, if something would happen to one of these five, they're in trouble. They have had no substitutes in the game yet uh, at all. Uh, give credit for Punksy. They've had uh, they've had several subs in the game, four, uh, three or four subs, uh, eight, eight strong. Uh, and that ball almost uh, lost as Dobbins gathers it back up. And she goes into the key. Uh, nice job by Burkett as she puts two away. Natalie Burkett for two. St. Mary's with it. Punksy uh, doing an area, threw it away. So that's what we need to do. We need to uh, get the intensity up. And uh, we're down 12 right at the moment. 2.17 to go here in the third period. Uh, we just need to put the pressure on them. I mean, uh, we're, we're, letting it, we're making it too easy, uh, basically. Long story short. 
Dobbins for three. Hits, he hits. Emily Dobbins for three. And Punksy gets up, or uh, St. Mary's gets the ball in. Uh, they need to double up. Knocked away by Powell out of bounds. Score 35-44. We're down nine. We just need to keep the intensity up here. Uh, keep, you know, keep putting it. It doesn't hurt to get those substitutes in and out. Give these girls a quick break. And right back at it. Spin move by a nice job by Powell on the rebound. She gets it to Gribble. Gribble down in the lane. Lays it up and in. Nice job by Danielle Gribble taking it through traffic to the hoop. And we're down seven. And time out. We're going to take a 30-second one with the team. You're listening to an Little Atlantic Sports Night on Fox Sports 100.9, the Groundhog. Join us for all the hardcore action that is Punxsutawney basketball. Brought to you by Laurel Eye Clinic. Boys and girls basketball on the Groundhog 100.9 with Mark Ewing calling every tip-off, shot, and foul. Sponsored by Laurel Eye Clinic. Leslie Malberg Allstate. The Medicine Shop. Napa Midtown Auto. Gribble Eye Care. In First Bank. Punxsutawney Area Hospital and Rapid Care Center. Marion Center Bank. Vision Creative Services. The new anchor is Punxsutawney Basketball with Laurel Eye Clinic on the Groundhog 100.9. Okay, welcome back here to Bunks Tony Area High School. punksy has been on a run here, and we're down seven. We were down 14 coming into the half. We're down seven at the moment with 147 to go here in the third period. If we can just cut this down a little bit more, uh, it would be nice to cut it down to nothing. You know, take the lead. Punksy has the capabilities. They just need to keep the intensity up, keep their heads up. You know, their team's going to score. I mean, that's a given. I mean, they're a good team. They're going to score. We just need to match it. We need to keep the intensity up and match it. Punksy coming out defensively strong, and they're doubling them up and making them trying to make them make a mistake. They get it to Snellick, Snellick cross half court, and get it ahead to uh, Schneider. Has it at the moment being guarded by Dobbins. She dribbles right, switches left, and they kick it back out to Snellick. Snellick looks the situation over, dribbles left. Looks for some help, and ooh, almost stolen away there by McMahon. Get it to Snellick. Snellick on a shot, a shoot a three, shot a three. And it's re rebound by, I don't know how that didn't get kicked away in, uh, in the Never Never Land, but uh, to no avail, Snellick misses the three. Burkett with it to Dobbins. Dobbins dribbles, gets it over to Burkett. We're down to a minute to go in the third quarter. Punksy down seven. They want to get it into... Uh, how Burkett Dobbins for three. She hits another three. Emily Dobbins with four threes off the bench. And we're down four here with 40 seconds to go in the third quarter. We've got Schneider bringing that ball up. Punksy playing some good defense right now. They kick it back into Snellick. Snellick having some trouble. Gets it to Schneider, or I mean Kasky. Over to Hans, Hansloven. There's 22 seconds. Deep three off the iron and rebound by McMahon being guarded by Snellick. That's it. Get rid of it. And they get it ahead to Dobbins. Little head fake. Back to McMahon. McMahon to, Mc, to Gribble. To McGribble. Almost McGribble. And they kick it back to McMahon. McMahon for three. She hit the three. We're down one with one second to go. It's the end of the third period. That's what I'm talking about. A comeback right there, ladies. We're going to take a quick 30 seconds. We'll be back for the start of the fourth quarter. You're listening to a Laurel Eye Clinic Sports Site on 100.9, The Groundhog. Mark, turn your volume down on your headset. Mark. Yeah, I got you. Uh, how's that? Yeah, you're... Yeah, Turn it down some more because I'll turn you up here if I okay. have to. Okay, all right, how's that? Yeah, you're really getting a feedback when you scream. Okay, <laughs> how's that? Great. I we'll mean, I have, it, I have it at a little less than half. Okay, great. It was cranked up higher than that whenever, but I didn't, I didn't touch anything they had. Okay, you're back. Okay, here we go, back to the fourth quarter. The Punxy girls coming out with the ball. Last eight minutes, we got St. Mary's on their heels right where we want them. One point. Separates the Punxy lead here in our last eight minutes. Like I had mentioned to you earlier, uh, the, the St. Mary's coach is pretty happy with five, five players. 
Uh, you know, it, it's got to wear down uh, these girls. Dobbins for three. Off the iron, no good. Rebound to McMahon. Nice job by uh, Powell tipping that ball out. Kicks it back out to Gribble. Gribble for three. She hits a three. We're up two to start the fourth quarter. 7.40 to go. Punksy up 46 to 44. On a Gribble three. And I don't know if Punksy's having a three-point shooting contest or what, but we have four girls with four three-pointers, and that's clutch. And there it goes, two girls to the ground. Punksy kicks it ahead to Dobbins. Dobbins stops, pulls it back. Good play. Punksy needs to calm down now. They're right where they want to be, up two points. They bounce it to Gribble. Gribble looks, and she's going to be fouled by Snellick on a little hip check there. And that isn't... Uh, that's the first foul on Snellick. 15. So anyways, Punksy gets that ball inbounds. Gribble has it. Kicks it down low to Dobbins. Dobbins looks the situation over to Gribble. Gribble bounces it into Powell. Powell spins. Looks. Kicks it back out to Dobbins. Dobbins shoots a three from the corner. Oh, my. Nothing but air. Not sure about that when I couldn't see what was going on down there. But it's going to go St. Mary's ball. I can see tonight with the amount of three-pointers Punksy has uh, fired and, and made slash missed. They're living and dying on the three here tonight. So with that being said, St. Mary's gets the ball up half court. We're up two here with 6.40 to go. Snellick's going to have to, uh, you know, the, I'm sure St. Mary's being up 14 and now down two. They're feeling that pressure, and they're probably, you know, feeling, oh, man, i got to do something, i got to do something. Uh, you know, they're going to force themselves to, you know, Make shots so you don't get a foul on the floor. Two shots coming for Snellick. She went to the hoop. It's going to be on Gribble. That's her second foul. First foul on the team. Once again, uh, uh, they changed the foul situations from halves to quarters. First shot's good for Snellick. And second shot coming. And it's five fouls and two shots. That's just the way it goes these days. Uh, no more one-on-ones and all that good stuff, playing the clock and all that. Her second shot's good, so it's tie game, 46 all, with 6.21 to go. Gribble crossover, dribble gets it to McMahon, down in the corner to Burkett. Burkett lobs it to McMahon, back to Burkett. She drives baseline. Oh, man, if, if Powell would have just went to the hoop on that one, uh, we could have had an easy bucket. St. Mary's was out of position. Nice job, How that was not a foul. And the Punksy faithful going crazy as Gribble ends up on the floor. And all the whistles uh, were up the referee's ear holes uh, as we got no foul called. And then uh, we got 14 with a foul, and that's uh, Natalie Burke at her second. And it was on the rebound. She fouled her. And that's going to be a foul on Gribble. If she would have just kept coming instead of making body contact, I think we'd have had a turnover there. And it's score 46 all. It's uh, going to be a timeout. We'll take a 30 second one with the team. You're listening to the Laurel Eye Clinic Sports Center 100.9 The Gauls. Public service announcement from Vaccinate Your Family in collaboration with Merck. Okay, back here for Punksy in the game at the moment. We have Olivia Burkett, Powell, Gribble, McMahon, and Dover Spike. And they get that ball into Snellick, and she gets it back to Schneider. And uh, St. Mary's uh, putting putting some play in the, to uh, this here, trying to trying to get Snellick uh, singled off on McMahon. She's doing a great job of fighting that off is McMahon. And uh, oh, nice job! And uh, the ball gets bumped away. Gribble going to the hoop, and it's gonna be a foul called on Kasky. It's gonna be her second foul, second on the team. It's gonna put Gribble to the line for two shots. 
I think uh, Gribble's going to get a foul on that, whether nobody touched her or not, after the last play when she went to the floor. Rim. No luck. So we've got one chance coming here to take the lead with 5.26 to go. Just a bit deep on that foul shot. Second one's good. Nice job by Danielle Gribble. Puts Punksy up one. They get that ball into Schneider. Gets over Spike with it. They need to keep fighting that. Uh, keep fighting that when Schneider gets it. She's not the, the most sure-handed player on her team for sure. They uh, go with Spike. And no one's going to be helping her there. And there's a foul as she goes into the backboard. And uh, Glasser calls a foul on Dover Spike. Two shots coming for Alexa Schneider. First shot's up. No good. It's a third foul on Molly Dover Spike. 5-10 to go here in the fourth period. Punksy has Gribble and Dover Spikes in with two fouls. First, second shot's good for uh, Schneider. That ties the game at 47. Gribble with it over half court. The uh, pick set. McMahon for three. She hits. Emily McMahon for three. St. Mary's gets that ball into Snellick. They're going to double them up. And keep putting the pressure on them. Pretty much full court defense. Not really a trap or anything like that. Just full court. Making them earn every bit of it. And that's over the back. That was an over the back. She had Emily McMahon wrapped up. I don't mean to get excited like that, but that was more than obvious. Uh, and that foul is called on Snellick, her second. And Punksy with the ball coming up the other way. Up by three, 4.36 to go here in the fourth quarter. They get it to McMahon. She look, gets it into back out to... That's what Punksy needed to do. No dribble and just keep. And Avery with it. Bah, puts it up. No good. And it's going to be off Punksy. Going the other way. Nice uh, look for Avery Powell. Just didn't fall for her. Nice pass. And Snellick uh, looking to get it. Or I mean, that was Hansleven getting it in. They kick it back out. Gornotti deep. No good. Gets it to Gribble. Ahead to... Powell, Powell taking it to the hoop. Good. Nice job. Nice pass. Emily Powell, or Avery Powell for two on a beautiful assist there by Gribble. Uh, looking way ahead on down the floor. Punksy up by five. That's what we need. We need to keep this lead to get it to Snellick. Snellick puts it up and in. And one. So Snellick gets that. I believe that foul is going to be on Powell, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, her first foul. I didn't really think of much of a foul there. Probably the respite comes out. Burkett comes in. Eight, uh, Natalie Burkett. <coughs> first shot, or the only shot. The end one is good. Snellick. And we're going to have a timeout by the team. We'll take one with them. You're listening to a Laurel Eye Clinic. Sports night on Fox Sports, 100.9, the Groundhog. Keeps on Fox Sports in a song. Life challenges can sometimes catch us off guard, but at Marion Center Bank, we believe in safeguarding your financial future. Introducing Ultimate ID Plus, a powerful fraud detection service that offers you peace of mind like never before. Ultimate ID Plus also keeps a vigilant eye on your social media identity and your driver's license, preventing fraudulent activities. Contact your local branch office or visit us at MarionCenterBank.com for more information. Marion Center Bank, member FDIC. Okay, welcome back here to Punxsylvania Area High School. Punxsy sitting with a two-point lead at the moment on a three-point play by Jason Snellick. Uh, she was followed by Avery Powell on a layup. Punxsy comes out, so it's Danielle Gribble, Emily McMahon, Natalie Burkett, Avery Powell, and Olivia Burkett. And the ball kicked in by Gribble and bringing, bringing it up the floors, Emily McMahon. Well, St. Mary's putting a little bit of pressure on here. 
Kick it over to Olivia Burkett. To Powell. Powell dribbles left. Give it to Emily McMahon. Kicks it back out to Burkett. Dribble with it. Little ball fake. She's being guarded by Snellick. Uh, Natalie Burkett with it. Over to Olivia Burkett. Alexi Burnix is balk here. Takes care of the ball. Waits for a good opportunity and hoping. Snellick, good kick. Unfortunately, Powell didn't get to it quick enough. Powell with that ball looking. Gets it over to McMahon. There she was wide open for one second. Foxy doing some clock burning here to start with a two-point lead. Takes care of the ball, though. Pretty good. 2.48 to go. Up 52 to 50. And there's a lot of body on body there. I mean, I don't know how much more you want. Two hands on the body. I mean, that usually constitutes a foul. Uh, anybody's book you look in. And they kick it across to Olivia Burkett. To Natalie Burkett. And she kicks it over to Avery Powell. Powell to McMahon. McMahon dribbles around. Gets it into the key. Had a good look there by onto Avery Powell. And the ball's knocked away. Kicks it back. I didn't think that was a backcourt violation because the ball was knocked away. She got a hold of it and kicked it back out. I'm not sure how that would work that way. Irregardless, turnover by Punksy. Called by the official. When the ball's knocked loose, it goes backcourt. I mean, it's nobody's ball until Naughty for three off the iron, no good, and it's out of bounds. That's Punksy. <laughs> One forty-nine to go. We're up two points at the moment. Uh, someone's gonna have to put the force on them here pretty soon because uh, they only have they only have three fouls uh, on this on their team. So uh, as far as a foul goes, is. Yeah, the referees call these fouls in these other plays here. Nice job by Burkett. She goes to the hoop and fouled. As she is fouled by Maura Caskey, I believe it's her third. It's going to be two shots for Olivia Burkett. 15 3. Oh, that's better yet. We'll take that on Snellick. I thought that was for sure on Maura Caskey. First shot by Burkett. It's good. We needed that bad. That was a big shot by Olivia Burkett. Her first point of the game puts us up three, so it's a three can't win it at the other end. Second shot's good. Nice job by Burkett making both of those threes. That's clutch. It's a two possession game here at Punxsie High School with a minute 22 to go. And Punxsie's uh, playing the so-called six man. And if that wasn't, I mean, a full timeout will take one with the team. You're listening to a Laurel Eye Clinic Sports Night on 100.9, the Groundhog. Your game plan is covered with the pigskin party pack from Punxsy Pizza. The ground game starts with an extra large 16 inch pepperoni pizza. Dominate your passing game with a dozen wings. Well, say, you supply, sorta. And for those TV timeouts, grab a sip from a free two liter of Pepsi. The Big Kid Party Pack for just $29.99. No game is complete without it. Order yours. Deliver your carry out. 9388132. 9388132. Think about pizza. Big Punksy Pizza. Okay, welcome back here to. Punxsutawney Area High School, Punxsy sitting with a two-point lead. Coming out of a timeout, it's going to be Punxsy's ball, minute 13 to go here. Punxsy's doing a great job of taking care of the ball. I'm sure St. Mary's is going to get to the point here where they've got four fouls, so next foul they have is going to put somebody on the line, and then from there on out, uh, there'll be fouls both ways and put girls on the line. Dribble with it. Coming up the floor. Snellick waiting for her. And she crossed over. Dribbles. Gets it to. Oh, my. She just kept going. She had it all the way. There she goes. Oh, she 
keeps pulling it back. Timeout, Punksy. We're going to stay here. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Uh, I'll give you my take on the game. We've got a minute to go here. We're down, or we're up two. Uh, we just need to keep doing what we're doing, uh, taking care of that ball. We're going to force them to foul us uh, eventually if they want to get the ball back. Uh, keep that ball, you know, uh, safe and sound. I mean, two points is not enough to burn the clock, but uh, the way Punksy's, uh, the, the St. Mary's defense has been coming out, I mean, I'd get Dobbins in the game. She's had the hot hand, and uh, hopefully we can hit something there. Uh, so uh, guess what they did? They got Dobbins in the game. We have our four best three-point shooters out there at the moment. As far as I can see, we have McMahon, Dobbins, Gribble, Avery Powell, and Olivia Burkett. And the ball gets into Gribble. Gribble was fouled. That's a good girl to foul, and that's going to be Caskey on the foul. Maura Caskey, I believe that's her third. 58 seconds to go. One thing, like, you know, it used to be you could foul them, hope they missed the first one, get the ball back, but now they get two no matter what. So, uh, Gribble usually a fairly good three-point or foul shooter. Uh, first shot's up and made it. We got Dobbins coming out, Burkett coming in for the defensive side. And second shot for Gribble is up and good. Nothing but net. So, St. Mary's with it, coming up the floor. I'd catch him at half court, make him work for it. And uh, like I said, Snellican, of course, she's going to try and take things into her own hands uh, as much as she can. And to get it back out to her, 43 seconds to go. She takes it down low, and the ball's kicked out. Good job, Punksy steals it. And there's a foul on Kasky. I or, I mean, uh, yeah, Kasky, I believe that's going to be her fourth foul. As a nice job there. Uh, Snellick just forces her way inside and keeps forcing around and trying to put that ball up. Punksy wasn't having it. Gribble with a nice grab and a foul on Kasky. That's her fourth. Punksy up four. Up four. I almost said it too quick. Up four. That ball was in and out. I don't know how it did it. A little toilet bowl action there and a kick back out. So we're going to have... Uh, uh, here we go, the next shot, no, it's good. Okay, Gribble puts us up by five. So it's definitely a big two, two possession game. They're down to 30 seconds and they're not in a real big hurry. Hey, let them stand out there and dribble it all day long. They're the ones that are five points down. Snellick with it, she takes it in the lane. She fires it off the glass about four feet high and it's 18 seconds, we're gonna have to foul and they do. Snellick with the foul, and that's going to put Gribble to the line again with 15 seconds to go. And St. Mary's, after being up by 14 points, are now down by five. Gribble to the line. And Punksy's girls are all standing back. First shot is... <laughs> she needs to move over about two clicks. She is off by a little wee bit, just in and out action there. We're going to make this one. She did. And that puts us up by six with 15 seconds. Snellick brings the ball down the floor. I mean, I just wouldn't let her have anything easy. She shoots a layup, who cares? That was an over the back. That's all I have to say. If you're watching the live feed, there was no foul there. She had all ball. If anything, it was a jump ball. So two shots coming. First shot missed. Good for her. Uh, that was a foul on Powell. And Dobbins coming back in for the return. Six seconds to go. Punksy needs to make sure to get a rebound on this if there's an uh, intentional miss. If not, to make. So Snellick with both those shots. Dobbins with it, and he gets to Burkett, Burkett to Avery Powell, and that's going to be the ball game, folks. Punksy comes away with a 58 to 53 win here at Chuck Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back for our quick post game show. You're listening to Laurel Island Sports Line at 100.9, the Groundhogs. 